For those who are blind, the pandemic brought on new challenges you may not have thought about. Local 22's Dana Casulo spoke with members of the Vermont Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired. Vermont Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired is a nonprofit dedicated to helping Vermonters with vision loss. Jerry yeah, Duty I, has I been blind since blind. birth. I was uh, born in the 1950s when uh, incubators were not yet perfected and I have what is now known as retinopathy of prematurity. The pandemic brought many challenges. For me, the social distancing when I was walking on the street uh, in the beginning was very difficult because people would walk up to me. I had no idea they were there. Tom Frank is legally blind. It started to go bad when I was in the Army. Uh, when I was around 20, 21 years old, and it's just gotten progressively worse. He said it took time to accept it and feel confident. People are afraid that, that no, people are looking at you. And my answer to that is, how do you know? You can't see them. Visually impaired people experience loneliness at higher levels compared to the general population. But the pandemic only made it worse. Look, vision loss is a disability of access. Uh, it, it disconnects you from uh, the environment around you. If you look st statistically among studies, they, they've shown that you know you have higher rates of depression among people who are visually impaired. Director of Adult Services Daniel Norris knows about the need firsthand. He too is legally blind. People who develop vision loss, they lose hope that they can continue doing the things they love to do. That's where we come in. We help them realize that they can continue to do the things they, 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 they dream to do. Duty wants people to know communication is key. Please talk to us and ask if you see something, uh, it's always nice to have someone say hello, you know. Dana Casulo, Local 22 News.